My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Uh, da, 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 that one got to be Ironclad, so it's silent time. All right, silent A15. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I kind of want to take the 15 damage for the two random colorless cards, but it's probably the random rare. Okay. Ooh. There's a path over here that has only two elites, but it has three midline rests as well as a couple question marks to open. All right, I'm gonna take the wreck. Okay. So, yes, Wraith Form is good. Uh, this early, though? I need a way to win, and then I can worry about living while I do the winning. Uh, I feel like that's probably the best order in which to go about that. All right. Pretty good opening fight. Could have been a hell of a lot worse, I'll say that much. But and Laos, hello, backstab, probably? I can't just take a bunch of defensive options because then the elites will just dunk me out of existence. The Silent especially is unprepared to take out... Oh, wait. Uh, is unprepared to take out a bunch of elites early. So because of that, I'm adapting my strategy specifically for this uh, silent. I'm going to be taking out fewer elites on the first floor, but still going for some. Because, yes, you still kind of need the power that they will give you, the relics that they will give you that you can build around and things like that. But I'll be trying to take on fewer. Okay. It'd be really good if we had, like, a predator or a skill in this deck. had some really unlucky draws in this combat. Oh well. Endless Agony for a little bit of extra damage. Most of our damage in this deck currently exhausts, which went, uh, you know, ain't great. I'm going to take the healing here, just because I'm kind of terrified of the next couple spaces. And I'll take the gold here as well. Similar reasoning. First upgrade's got to be on Neutralize. Extra weakness is particularly powerful. So I could either have an extra rest or I can have a question mark. I'll take the extra rest. This is basically the most aggressive turn that I can even open this fight with. In A20, we would have no, no business here. I'm going to double strike single defend rather than double defend single strike. And the reason is because damage output is going to be our big problem across this fight. Had to be the log of all. So if I play Wraith Form here, basically that's... All right, fine. That's me saying that I can no longer defend from this point on out. So I basically have three turns here to kill. And now I'm more weak. Oh, I'm going to need three strikes next turn. Ugh, that's not going to do it. Ouch. Very, very ouch. Mango, upon pick up raise max HP by 14. Unfortunately, not really good enough there. Uh, we'll take a Noxious Fumes and then immediately upgrade it because now we actually have some damage in the deck. Yay. Bronze Scales as well. Started to combat with three thorns. Pretty happy to have it. So this can't be Lagavul in. Problem is, if it's Gremlin Knob, we still don't have another attack in the deck yet. So I think I actually have to dodge the next lead as well. Oh, this is terrifyingly sad first floor. Excellent. Strike next turn guarantees the kill. Boss at the end of the floor is Slime Boss, so that could be a problem for us as well. Probably pick up a Deadly Poison here. Just because primarily we're lacking damage right now. I'll drop the Weak Potion for a Fear Potion so that I can try and kick in some extra damage early. 
Transformer Strike. Got Predator. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Yes, I know we're lacking damage, and then I transformed the Predator, but at the same rate, we're also kind of lacking defense. And you can defend forever, but if you defend forever, you're not going to win the fight. You do need to offend at some point. I could take Quick Slash literally is just damage. Alright, so if we play Noxious Fumes, that frontliner is dead. Damn. Alright. I'll cut the one damage here. God, I hope I don't have to Wraith Form at the very start of the next combat, but it seems like it's possible. Another Backstab versus another Predator. Without extra energy in this deck, I don't want to take another card draw in the extra Predator here. Predator is card draw, so is Quick Slash, so would the other Predator be. Obviously, Wraith Form is quite expensive, and Predator itself is expensive. Take another Backstab to try and help me get through early enemies. It's either upgrade the Predator or upgrade the Wraith form. It's definitely upgrade here. Go for the Predator. Alright. Not a bad opening turn. Enemy splitting at 175. So four more damage is fine, right? It's not. It's eight damage from where you're currently are uh, will be your split value, which isn't good for us to trigger just yet. Mm -hmm. Not like this is an amazing split value either, but... Starting to build up the poison stacks on these enemies. All right, that's pretty rough. I should have just used the fear potion at the very start as I was using the double backstab and the predator. So when you take that damage, it will actually change your uh, your intent. And you'll split instead. So I think it's probably best that I go Predator Strike. Great. Wraithform is getting very close to the turns where I want to play it. But here, I literally just have the ability to kill both of those backliners. Okay, Predator Strike, and now we're all good. All right. Yeah, that combat got a little more hectic than I really should have let it get, but that's okay. I learned my lessons from it. Grand Finale versus Phantasmal Killer versus Tools of the Trade. Probably Tools of the Trade, most of these. Yeah. And I really want the extra energy, so we'll be taking the Cursed Key. That does mean that I am going to have to take a Curse later on, so that I actually have the ability to uh, to check my... Da, 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 what do you call it? So that I have the ability to pick up a Sapphire. Hmm... Need the extra energy. Okay. This deck could get away with just like stacking defense now. 
specifically because it has the uh, the Wraith Horn as well as the Noxious Fumes. So we can kind of extend at the very end. We've got a little bit of upfront damage, especially in the Endless Agonies as well. Uh, and then we've got the Noxious Fumes for prolonged damage. So we have the ability to kind of sustain through a bunch of different fights. We just need HP. In the form of block. Uh, yikes. I'm going to take a bunch of damage in this combat if I don't really deal with them. At least if I don't deal with them as quickly as I possibly can. And I also might loot a potion after this combat, so... Having a free slot could be handy. Eh, take an upgraded dodge and roll. Especially because footwork is probably one of the you know, most powerful pickups that I can really make at this point. That's a really good opening against the Shelled Parasite. You don't get too many great openings against the Shelled Parasite. I'm really glad. Could have played a strike at the very end there. Didn't matter. Wouldn't have gotten through the block. I'm going to shuffle the Endless Agonies back in. Cool. Uh, another dodge and roll at this point? I think so. Just because we're not really getting offered many other defensive cards. If I could go back and take the leg sweep that I turned down earlier, I would do it. But that's not how this video game works. Very pleased to have drawn the neutralize there. We've already taken a bunch of damage before we've even set up our powers, which is, you know, kind of fundamentally the problem with the deck currently. All right. Yep, I'm setting up Wraith Form pretty early, but... Seems like it's going to pay off for me. Nice. There's your self-heal. Nice try, though. I'm afraid you're dead. Another Noxious Fumes versus a Cloak and Dagger. The problem is, like, second Noxious Fumes I really, really, really want to take, but I also really, really, really want Defense. And the Cloak and Dagger, especially pre-upgraded, is... Oh, that's nice. There's Footwork. Exactly the kind of thing we were looking for. Definitely taking it. So now, the rest of this is... If I take Sling of Courage as well as the Preserved Insect as well as Terra, I become really, really capable of fighting Elites. Uh, and then I can try and capitalize on that. Or I can take Finesse and Gremlin Horn just to try and get better in general. I think I actually need the Sling of Courage and the Preserved Elite. Uh, like, we are very low on Relics right now, and our card quality isn't just going to hold us through to the very late game. So that's all slated to try and make me better at fighting Elites here. Frontliner dies against my armor. The backliner gets both the negative effects. Nah, I wasn't attacking this turn, so as it turns out, the negative effect of vulnerability didn't really matter. Play the dodge and roll for the sixth block next turn. Mm-hmm. Seems like maybe that was probably a good idea. Right. <clears throat> 
reasonable chance to draw lethal. That'll do it. Dex potion as well as another dodge and roll. I mean... It's either that or slice. Slice has a position here just because we have a lot more uh, cards in hand than we can really cast. So taking a couple zero cost cards, that's one of the reasons that I took Endless Agony as well. Uh, can be a totally reasonable thing to do. Take a dodge and roll though. I'm actually still going to take three damage here, but that's a really good opening turn for us. Okay. Hell yeah. Look of Stabbing actually kind of handled there. Really enjoy that. Ooh, dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. I do have a couple of shivs in this deck. Dagger spray out of these. As much as, yes, Nightmare on Wraith form is a way to kind of lock your enemies out of being able to fight you. Gosh, that's very expensive. And this deck isn't really defensive enough to be able to do that at the moment. And I need a little bit of AoE. I'm going to take the Dead Branch. Let's go for it. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Damn. Oh, Deflect and Good Instincts both in the same store. That would have been lovely. Uh, medical Kit. I wouldn't have even been able to buy unless I won the risky bet that I took. Matroshka. Ah, uh, Normality just got added to the deck as well. Yikes. All right. I'm going to take the Sapphire Key and then I'm going to try and go up in this direction. Thousand cuts is pretty good. Quick slash. <laughs> Not a fan of the fact that the Gremlin Leader is just constantly attacking. Like, in every available opportunity to attack, they have decided to. Which I probably need not tell you is literally the worst case, uh, like, worst case scenario for me as they do that. There goes the Gremlin Leader. Regal Pillow. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. We're going to be taking advantage of that. And another backstab just gives us a random card. Sure. Rest. Thank you. These backstabs are going to be a hell of a way to open a fight. I'll tell you that much. So I've already got a little block for this turn. Well laid plans, okay, not bad. Malays, yeah, backstab, sure, I'll take that. In Venom? I don't know about in Venom here. It's a bit too expensive to play on upgraded there. Awesome. This'll totally work. Ah, hell yeah.
Awesome. I'm very much hoping that I get enough money uh, to remove normality at the store. Come on, money. I don't think I'm super likely to play the the cloak and dagger in this first shuffle, especially because of the confusion. That's why. Hmm, I can play all of these. Guess I don't need that defend then. Cool! That's a turn and a half right there! Yeah, there's the Cloak and Dagger that I'm not going to be playing. Um, well, I mean, we don't even play it at all. It doesn't matter. Come on, enough money for the removal. That's not going to be enough, is it? The fact that we can generate a bunch of cards in this deck means that Outmaneuver giving us extra energy for the next turn is actually a lot more powerful than it otherwise might be. Can't do the removal I really wanted. I can't even pick up a backstab that I desperately wanted. Uh, I could drop a power potion in order to take a speed potion in order to try and force my way through this elite. But I think I'm probably best served by picking up infinite blades so that I can actually just generate an extra card every single time. <laughs> this deck isn't about having like a core consistent strategy anymore. It's about just generating an overwhelming amount of value uh, and then using that to beat the head in of my opponent. Gonna upgrade footworks while I have the opportunity. Thank you, normality. Oh, had to be the normality curse I got from the opening of the chest as well. Like it couldn't be one of the ones that you can actually play around. Had to be the worst case. Yeah, we're gonna have some rough times here. This is second grand finale in this deck already. Yikes. Free shot, weakling. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, good. Really glad that we generated a defensive card there. We desperately needed it. Card to discard. Uh, probably the strike, like a straight up strike. Slash. Eh. Eh. Woo, that's a lot of die, die, die. Play those later. I want to get this poison started. Yeah, that master of stab's not really going to be right. It's okay though, enemy isn't attacking this turn. I got a ridiculous amount of energy next turn, so hopefully we get Cloak and Dagger, which we do, and we discard the normality. Woo, good thing we have Tools of the Trade. I actually wasn't even thinking about the fact that Tools of the Trade was going to allow me to do that, but it does, and that's good. Hey, picked up a Leg Sweep, excellent. As you can see, we're kind of picking up a lot of the cards that we really, really needed. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that. Obviously can't play the grand finale. Ooh, adrenaline, hell yes. Another backstab. See how this turn is going off in a way that without the dead branch we would be incapable of doing? We probably still would have won this fight without the dead branch. It would have been a completely different fight though. 
and I would have rest before the fight rather than upgrading a card. Um, I want to go footwork and then probably like double dodge and roll to try and make sure that I don't just straight up die next turn. another 19 block on top of this so I can block basically 40 39 so 39 and wow that's not gonna be enough all right so my best chance is pulling out uh -uh, it's not gonna do it it's our best defensive option though oh well Rough. Rough fight right there. Unfortunately, it does happen like that sometimes. Okay, so what would I have changed about that deck? What would I have changed about my decisions? I don't think I would have changed the dead branch in retrospect. I think that generating that extra value would help thicken up our deck in the final combat, and it would help negate a lot of the negative effects that are caused by fighting the... Uh, the heart and that is to say that you need to have so much defense so much offense at the same time you need to have uh all of these different kind of contingency cards in your deck and not run out of them and of course you've got all of those statuses that dilute your deck and two of them three of them three of them exhaust right there's slimed there's dazed and there's the void so each of those gets to introduce another card that helps you dilute the effect of the other ones in your deck, the Wound and the Burn, uh, as well as to get you further from the next draw of the next incoming amount of negatives. Run History seems to be trying to crash my game right now. We would have done better in that final fight if we didn't have normality, but I don't think it necessarily killed us. I think that Preserved Insect and Sling of Courage uh, was instrumental. Like, I would have died to the Gremlin Knob if I hadn't have taken both of those. Gremlin Knob, sorry, Gremlin Leader. Um, so I think that they were instrumental in allowing us to get further relics. Uh, the Dead Branch, eh, really glad that I managed to pick that up. Regal Pillow, really glad that I managed to pick that up. If we'd rested before that boss, I think we would have lived. But the fact that we would have had only one unupgraded footwork in the deck, especially when we were relying so heavily on dodge and rolls for our defense because we couldn't really get uh, leg sweep, we couldn't really get dash, we couldn't really get just singular powerful defensive cards, meant that I felt like that extra upgrade was super necessary specifically for looking forward to the next floor. Consider that if you survive a boss on one HP and you didn't rest uh, and you rested before it, sure, you saved your life. But if you survived the boss and your rest didn't necessarily make you survive that boss, if you survived by more than the amount that you rested for, then you just lost an upgrade. You've just given up the ability to take an upgrade. And especially in Ascension 15, where I'm intending to go to the heart and try and get Heartbreaker, uh, I really want to try and capitalize on every single different benefit that I can get, wring all of that out of the run. Unfortunately, sometimes you look at a run and go, I mean, we didn't get Shuriken, Kunai, Ornamental Fan, Sneko, uh, you know, Oldie Smooth Stone, et cetera, et cetera. We didn't get, you know, those kinds of things. You kind of have to play with the cards you're dealt. And occasionally the cards you're dealt include a Relic, named Dead Branch, and a curse named Normality. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire, the High Ascension Grind. Uh, well, actually, not the High Ascension Grind. We've already done up to Ascension 20 and including Ascension 20 with each and every character. Uh, it's the Heartbreaker Chronicles. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.